Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you had a fantastic day. As you know, I'm always trying to invest in myself, learn new things. I've been training CO2 refrigeration for four or five years and I'm always learning new stuff. And this week I learned something from Wyan Gronald from Future Green Now. This guy is a CO2 rock star. If you don't know who he is, if you're not following him, check him out. I'll put him in the description. But we were talking about mechanical subcooling at the gas cooler outlet. When you're in transcritical mode, there's no pressure temperature relationship on the high side, your medium temp side. And what your controller is doing is trying to find the most optimum discharge pressure for that system. So for instance, it's trying to create the least amount of flash gas because flash gas is not good and because you're just wasting energy. It could be 20, 30, 40, 50% just wasted. That's why there's warm ambient strategies like uh, parallel compression, uh, ejectors, uh, adiabatic cooling, and so on. But with mechanical subcooling, what you're trying to do is lower the gas cooler temperature uh, more than what the ambient can do. But that required capacity for subcooling is equivalent to the temperature lines on a CO2 pH diagram. So right back here, this is the temperature lines. And then there's different distances in those lines. So the further those lines are apart, the more required uh, capacity needed. And, and therefore, uh, if or there's a decrease in um, the gas cooler that can, cooling that can be done. So that's very important in your control strategy. And when you're using mechanical subcooling, you should always be controlling at the gas cooler outlet. So you can reduce that temperature, but not necessarily reduce the pressure, because if you reduce the pressure, that temperature line could be further apart and it causes more mechanical or uses more mechanical subcooling to do the same amount of work and cause more costs more energy. If you've done this before, if you install mechanical subcooling, if you installed and designed the control algorithm, I'd love to hear how it's done. I want to learn more. Uh, throw it in the comments box. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.